Hi friends, I'm here with Travis and we are here today to talk about um, more of the Christmas story. It's one of my favorite stories. It's about the birth of Jesus. And I know last week, Miss Rhea told a little bit about it. The week before we had talked about Mary and Joseph and how the angel had appeared to them and told them where to, what they were gonna be doing and to not be afraid. Yeah, they had to go on a very long journey. They did, they had to go on a long journey. That's very true. And then baby Jesus was coming. Well, today's part of the story is the story of the three wise men. I know, right? That's how we heard the story. Everybody says the three wise men. But you know what, friends? It's actually kind of interesting. In the Bible, it doesn't really tell us there was three. No, it doesn't. It tells us there were three gifts, but it doesn't actually say three wise men. It says some magi. They call them magi, or it's interpreted wise men from the East came. So we really don't know maybe how many there were, but they did bring three gifts. But the story starts as they travel very, very far, uh, for, probably further than Mary and Joseph had to travel, probably. That's true. No, they did not have a plane. Oh, they, no, they had to probably take their camels and travel. And the Bible tells us that they were following a star. You see, Magi wise men, they were scientists and they studied the stars and they studied the planets and how everything lines up and they had seen something. They had seen a star, a special star something in the sky that they had never seen before and they knew from studying and from um, scripture that there was going to be baby Jesus the king was going to be born and so they started traveling and following it and they probably packed up their camels and had a very long journey and then they arrive to the area where they think like baby Jesus should be, should be somewhere around here because they went to the palace. I know, that's right, baby Jesus was not born in the palace, but he was a king. He was gonna be born king of the Jews. Wouldn't you think a king would be born in a palace? That's what they thought too, but we learned that wasn't the case. He was born in a stable, but they didn't know. They went to the palace to go look for him. And the king that was, yeah, the king that was there was pretty mad. He's, he's like, I don't want anybody else being king. And he was worried, but he didn't want to, he was a, a bad king. He was not, there's a lot of bad kings in the Bible. He was bad and he didn't want somebody, uh, the baby king to come take his place. So he cooked up a plan. No, I not, not like cooked. He, let's see what, what I mean by cooked up a plan. He thought up a plan, came up with an idea. It's a saying, cooked up a plan. And he had an idea. He was gonna let the Magi, the wise men, go find the baby. And then he told them, when you find him, come back and tell me so I can go worship him too. Yeah, I did say he was a bad king, so he didn't really want to worship him. What he wanted to do was kill him. I know, yeah, that's not a good thing. Mm -mm. So the wise men didn't know, but they said, okay, and they, kept they did some more research and then they got and they saw the star and they kept following the star they found out that Jesus was supposed to be born in Bethlehem and so they went and they searched and the Bible tells us that when they saw the star they rejoiced they were so happy they had such great joy and then the star settled over the place where Jesus was now at this part of the story the Bible scholars guess, Bible scholars are wise people that study the Bible, they pretty much um, know that Jesus was probably about a year old. He probably wasn't the little baby born new. So this part of the story comes a little bit later, but they came and they saw Mary, his mother, and they saw Jesus. And the Bible says they bowed down and they worshiped him. Yes, they brought him those gifts, gold, frankincense and myrrh no they weren't gifts Jesus could play with that was true they kind of had some special meaning gold 
weekend to kings, frankincense, sweet smelling in worship, and myrrh is something that they would use knowing that Jesus, as when he would grow up, would die for our sins. And so these are just special gifts that have, that are symbolic, which means they show something. They talk to us about what Jesus, who Jesus was. He was the king. We were to worship him and he would die for our sins. Because Jesus came to be born so that he would um, come to save sinners. And then he would raise from the dead and he could live in our hearts like he does now. That's, yeah, that's right. So you do, oh, you wanna give Jesus a present? You want me to look in your heart? Should we look in his heart, he says? Let's see. Uh, Travis, there's there's nothing in his heart. Oh, I see. That's right. True, friend. That's very true. You know what? We can't really go give Jesus a present like wrapped up in a bow like we do with our, our family members or our friends. But Jesus, his present that he wants is our heart. He wants us to open up our hearts to him, especially this Christmas, and say, Jesus, come in. You're king of my heart. I worship you, and I know that you died and rose again to save me from sin. That is very true. We can give Jesus the gift of our hearts this Christmas, today. Don't have to wait till Christmas Day. Anytime. We give Jesus the gift of our hearts. And Oh. Oh, okay, yes. Travis is wondering what happened with baby Jesus because do you remember God told the Magi to, I mean, God, Herod, King Herod said, come back and let me know where he's at. And yeah, that's scary because he wanted to kill him. Well, the Magi were actually warned in a dream. God warned them in a dream to not do that. And so they listened. They listened to the warning that God sent them and they went on about their way and never went back and reported what they had found and where they had found baby Jesus. They knew in their hearts that he was God, he was baby Jesus, they gave him the good gifts and that then they went on their way and they worshiped him and they taught us a big lesson about worshiping God, our King, and that he was coming to save us. And friends, if you want Today, you can give Jesus your heart as the, yeah, yes, as a gift. You can as a gift. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I give you my heart. I want you to be king of my heart. You can say that. It's just that easy to give Jesus your heart, that good gift. That's the gift that he desires. And he will come in. He can fill up your heart. You can worship Jesus and knowing that he is the good king he came to save us from our sin yeah so friends i hope you have an amazing day and maybe you think about the gift that you can give to jesus and have you given him your heart and it's an easy thing to do and he's just waiting and ready to fill your heart with all the good things especially at christmas time all of the joy and the peace Yes, yeah, the love, lots of love, fill up that heart with love. All right, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you, or Miss Rhea will see you. We'll see which one of us tells the next part of the story next Sunday. Have a great day. Love you, friends. Bye.